ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagkagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw ng ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, grade 4 pupils! It's a brand new day and a good chance to learn. Get ready and let's learn mathematics right at the comfort of your home. So come on, get your pen, paper, and self-learning module. But before we proceed, I want you to comment your name, your section, and the name of your school in our comment box so that your subject teacher would recognize your attendance. For today's lesson, you will learn how to identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles. You will also learn how to identify and describe the different kinds of quadrilaterals, square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. But first, let's have a review about the types of angles. In 30 seconds, I want you to identify as acute angle, right angle, or obtuse angle the following. Are you ready, grade 4 pupils? If you are ready, your 30 seconds starts now. Just comment your answer in our comment section. You have 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. 9. Okay, time's up. Time to check your work. For number one, that is an obtuse angle. How about number two? Very good. That is a right angle. How about number three? Very good. That is an acute angle. For number four, that is also an acute angle. And for number five, very good. That is an obtuse angle. It is very important that you know the different kinds of angles for you to understand more our topic for today. Let, I have here a problem. Mr. Frias assigned his pupils to bring different objects that show triangles. Brian brought a picture of a house. Leslie showed picture of a traffic sign and Seraphine prepared a triangular flaglet. How did the pupils classify the triangles? What is asked in the question? Very good. How did the pupils classify the triangles? Now, what are the given facts? Correct. Brian brought a picture of a house. Leslie showed a picture of a traffic sign. And Seraphine prepared a triangular flaglet. Now, let's help them to classify those triangles. But first, let's define what is a triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides, three vertices, and three angles. We can classify triangles 
according to angles and side. But first, let's discuss the classifications of triangles according to angles. The first triangle is what we call acute triangle. That is a figure of an acute triangle because it has three acute angles. The next triangle is what called right triangle. This is a figure of a right triangle. Why? Because it has one right angle. And lastly, we have here obtuse triangle. Or the third one is the obtuse triangle. This is a figure of an obtuse triangle. Why? Because it has one obtuse angle. And lastly, we have here equiangular triangle. This is an example of equiangular triangle. Why? Equiangular triangle ha all angles are equal or congruent. It is also an acute triangle. Now, let's discuss the classifications of triangles according to sides. First is the isosceles triangle. Now, this is an example of is an isosceles triangle. And what is an isosceles triangle? It has at least two congruent sides. Again, isosceles triangle has at least two congruent sides. The second one is the Equilateral triangle. This is an example of, of an equilateral triangle because an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal or congruent. And the last one is the scalene triangle. This is an example of scalene triangle because it has no equal or congruent sides. Now, it's time for your activity. In two minutes, uh, you will name the triangle described in each item and you will comment down your answer in our comment section. Are you ready, grade 4 pupils? If you are ready, your two minutes starts now.
Okay, time's up. Let's check your work. Number one. A triangle with at least two equal sides. That is an... Very good. An isosceles triangle. How about number two? A triangle with three acute angles. Correct. That is an acute triangle. Number three. A triangle with no equal sides. Correct. That is a scalene triangle. Number four. A triangle with a right angle. Very good. That is a right triangle. And last one, a triangle will all, with all sides are equal. Very good. That is an equilateral triangle. Did you get the same answer? Very good. Now for our next activity, I will give you one minute to do this. You will type in always, sometimes, or never through. And again, you will comment your answer in our comment section. So if you are ready, grade 4 pupils, your one minute starts now. You have 30 seconds left. Okay, time's up. Let's check your work. Number one, an equiangular triangle is equilateral triangle. Correct. Always because equiangular triangle is also an equiangular triangle. Number two, a right triangle is an obtuse triangle. Correct. Never. Because a right triangle has a right angle and has two acute angles. Number three. An acute triangle is equiangular triangle. Again, an acute triangle is equiangular triangle. Correct. Sometimes. Because not all acute triangles are... Equiangular triangle. Did you get the same result? Excellent! Just remember, grade 4 pupils, that a triangle is a polygon with three sides, three angles, and three vertices. We can classify triangles according to their sides and Angles. We can classify a triangle according to angles. We have acute tri triangle. It has three acute angles. Right triangle. It has one right angle. An obtuse triangle. It has one obtuse angle. And lastly, we have equiangular triangle that all angles are equal. And for the classifications of triangles, according to sides, we have isosceles triangle. It has at least two equal sides. We have equilateral triangle. All sides are equal. And scalene triangle, it has no equal sides. Now, 
let's move on for our next topic which is all about quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? It is a polygon with four sides, four vertices, and four angles. I have here a the different types of quadrilateral. We have square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. I have here a Venn diagram. You can see that the trapezoid kites and trapeziums are not parallelograms, but rectangles, squares, and rhombus are parallelograms. For you to know more about quadrilaterals, let's define each quadrilateral. Now, the first one is a parallelogram. This is a figure of a parallelogram. It has two pairs of opposite sides that are Parallel. When we said parallel lines, parallel lines do not meet or do not intersect. The next one, or rather, these are the some examples of parallelograms. So we have the design of the stairs, an eraser, design of a tile, and the design of a traffic sign. Now for our next quadrilateral, we have rectangle what is a rectangle a rectangle is a parallelogram means it has two pairs of opposite sides or rather we have, they have two pairs of parallel lines and it has four right angles these are some examples of rectangle we have book Bookshelf, building, chalkboard, computer, and a door. Next quadrilateral is square. This is a figure of a square. What is a square? It is a rectangle with four congruent sides. Meaning, it's a rectangle. It has two parallel or two pairs of parallel lines. So we have one and two pairs of parallel lines with four congruent sides and four right angles. Now, these are the some examples of a square. We have a biscuit, we have chocolates, a wall clock, and a tile. Now, for our next quadrilateral, we have rhombus. This is an example of a, rather, this is a figure of a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides, meaning it is a parallelogram. It has two pairs of parallel lines. So we have here one pair of parallel line and another pair of parallel line. It has four congruent sides. These are the some examples of a rhombus. So we have here the diamonds, buildings, uh, uh, the tri rather the diamond of a baseball field, <clears throat> and the design of a net of a volleyball uh, in a volleyball game. The last one is what we call the trapezoid. Trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Why? Because it has only one pair of parallel sides. <clears throat> These are some examples of trapezoids. So we have the lampshade, the diamonds, and the popcorn. Also have uh, the wing of a of an airplane and the design of a bridge. Now, in two minutes, I want you to name the quadrilaterals being described. So, are you ready, grade 4 pupils? If you are ready, your two minutes starts 
now. Okay, time's up. It's time to check your work. Number one, it is an, a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Okay, very good. That is a parallelogram. Number two, quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Okay, very good. That is a trapezoid. Number three, a parallelogram with four right angles. Very good. That is a rectangle. Number four, parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. Correct. That is a square and last one a parallelogram with four equal sides very good that is a rhombus did you get the same answer excellent just remember grade four pupils that a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides four vertices and four angles. And the types of quadrilateral, we have a parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. We have rectangle, a parallelogram with four right angles. We have square, a parallelogram that is both rectangle and rhombus. We have rhombus, a parallelogram with four equal sides. And trapezoid, a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. And then for your assignment, you will answer page 8 and 10, what's more. Your subject teacher will discuss our lesson thoroughly for you to understand it more. 
If you have no questions, let's call it a day. Again, I'm Mr. Roel Labay from Apolonia F. Rafael Elementary School saying, Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Goodbye, grade 4 pupils! See you next time!